Bless you. Nate, are you sick? No, I'm okay. Are you, are you okay? It's okay. <clears throat> just like a little cold or something. Okay, Cookie, let's get the names, okay? All right. Okay, good evening, everybody. Um, I want to do a quick roll call. Nate, are you there? Contestants, how you doing? Welcome to our show. Why don't you tell me how many people are going to be playing this game? So, you're playing with yourself, huh? Cookie, please. Sorry, just type your name in, okay? Hell, this isn't gonna work for me. Um, I got some yarn tangled up. Oh, yeah. Uh, are you looking for a seven-question tournament-length game or a full 21-question deal? Yeah, but actually, not too late. 30 seconds. You wanna buzz in, hit the letter B. B is in bubble wrap. God, I love that bubble wrap. Helen, yeah. we, we don't have time. We don't have time. Cue the commercial. 20 seconds. Hey, we got 20. All right. Question comes on the screen. You think you know the answer. You buzz in. You pick one of the choices on the screen. You got that? Okay, I need everybody to be quiet. I need to be quiet now. Okay, lose the desktop. Cue graphics. Sun effects on deck. Okay, go to black. Let's go. Barking billies, or your pet fat is doggone. Welcome to You Don't Know Jack. <laughs> Just you and me for this show, huh? All right, partner, let's rock and roll. How about it? Hit me with a category. It's number one. The name of this category is Star Wars and the Little Rascals. Okay, it shouldn't be too tough. This question's going to be worth a grand. Okay, get yourself set. It's time. Princess Leia is to cinnamon buns as buckwheat is to cotton candy, tang, steak, or sticky buns. Cotton candy. We're talking about their hairstyles. Okay. All right, come on, hit me. We need a category. The category is Living in Sin Throughout History. You get this one right, you got 2,000 bucks coming at you. Okay, get your fingers ready, let's get busy. Living in Sin became acceptable in the 70s, but which couple shacked up together over 2,000 years ago? Romeo and Juliet, William and Mary, Julius Caesar and Cleopatra, or Mike and Gloria? Those nutty kids, Caesar and Cleopatra. Yeah, they lived together in a big condo in Rome till he died from a mysterious stabbing pain in his chest. Okay, pick a category. You're late, you're late, you're late, you're late, question three. Next up, hot house pickup lines. Pop a right answer for this one, you got 3,000 greenbacks. I tell you, some plants will do anything to get laid. The flower of the mirror orchard has developed a special look to help spread pollen. What's so great about it? It's clear, hummingbirds smack into it, it looks like a wasp, males try to mate with it, it looks like two plants, bees visit longer, or it wears tiny gold medallions, hornet swoon. The mirror orchard looks so much like a female wasp that males try to mate with it. Was it good for you too, baby? Baby? Hey, wake up! How about it? Hit me with a category. You're my question for forevermore. I love you. My question for. All right, let's see what we're doing here. Mr. Scott meets Pops Racer. This question's going to be worth $2,001 bills. Imagine the chief engineer of the Star Trek's Enterprise and Speed Racer's dad team up to design a new Mach 5 race car. If it's capable of a top speed of warp factor 1, how fast can Speed Racer's new car go? 10 times the speed of light, the speed of sound, the speed of light, or 3 times the speed of sound? The speed of light. I hope that car comes equipped with driver's side barf bags. Alright, come on, hit me. We need a category. Ain't no job, it's question 5. The category behind this question is dynamite, or in the words of the immortal J.J. Walker, dynamite. The amount on the table is three grand. Flight attendants, prepare for takeoff. 
All in the family is to good times as cousin is to cousin, grandparent is to grandchild, uncle is to niece, or parent is to child. Grandparent is to grandchild. That's right, Good Times was a spin-off of Maud, which was a spin-off of All in the Family. Okay, pick a category. Gotta be quick. Get in the Here's the category. Dodgeball in the 19th century. Right here, 1,000 bucks for a right answer. In Dodgeball, an opposing player is out when you hit him or her with the ball. Up until 1845, in which of these games were you allowed to eliminate an opposing player by hitting him with a ball? Bowling, football, baseball, or squash? That's right, you could bean the runner and he'd be out. Personally, I think that's a rule that should be brought back to baseball. It would definitely liven up the game. How about it? Hit me with a category. Uh-oh, West Truck licks nine more. It's time for a ticklish past go. This gibberish questions category is circumcision and souvenirs. Opening value on this gibberish question, 5,000 bucks. Okay, now remember, you don't have all the time in the world here. The less time you take, the more money you make. With what t-shirt slogan does this rhyme? Ball, my gut. Buzz, bris, owsie, me hurt. And don't let the punctuation... Okay, let's see if you know it. Type in your answer and hit return. My parents went to Florida, and ball mine got Buzzbris Owsie me hurts. So, what's German for your parents are great big cheapskates? Okay, pick a category. Yeah, man, come along to question eight. The category. That's a cannibal. And this one's going to be worth $1,000. You're a creative cook on a tight budget. For dessert, you bring out a big tray of glazed thyroid cartilage and yell, Hey kids, come and get it! What are you serving? Lady fingers, sticky buns, candied Adam's apples, or wax lips? Candied Adam's apples. Watch out for the seeds. Alright, come on, hit me. We need a category. Number nine. Oh, and this one is nine. This one's gonna be Superman versus Hermes. And this one's gonna be worth $2,000. All right, let's imagine it's a slow day in Metropolis. Superman's only assignment is to put some documents in a hermetically sealed container. What must he do with the documents? Put them in Tupperware and close the lid, put them in a safe, sterilized with heat vision, use super cold breath to freeze the container, or use super speed to send them back in time. Hermetically sealed just means airtight. Yeah, I hear the other super friends aren't talking to Superman anymore because he keeps bugging them to host Tupperware parties. Okay, pick a category. Next up, women we consume. And it looks like you can win a thousand greenbacks for this one. Get ready to buzz because here it comes. If the following consumer product girls were caught in a downpour, who would be best prepared for the inclement weather? The Morton Salt Girl, the Swiss Miss Girl, the Land Lakes Girl, or Aunt Jemima? The Morton Salt Girl. Yeah, she carries an umbrella with her, rain or shine. She's a weird chick. We've got ten questions down, and for ten more, we're going on to round two. <laughs> now pay attention, because all the questions in round two are worth more money. Let's do it. How about it? Hit me with the category. The name of this category is The Great Tight End in the Sky. And if you can figure this one out, I can pay you 4,000 bucks. Get your eyes focused on the screen. Here we go. If playing football required one to eat the football, what religious group would not be able to play? Observant Mormons, Orthodox Jews, observant Muslims, or observant Hindus? No football dinner for Hindus. Observant Hindus are forbidden to eat cow, and today's footballs are made from cow skin. All right, come on, hit me. We need a category. Oh, here comes question 12. 
All right, let's see what we're doing here. Cinematic roadkill. A right answer will get you two G's for this question. Hang on tight, because here we go. If you were to make a stew from the carcasses of famous movie animals that have died on the big screen, which of the following would not be part of the recipe? Old Yeller from Old Yeller, Charlotte from Charlotte's Web, The Yearling from The Yearling, or Willie from Free Willy 2? Willie from Free Willy 2. However, I'm telling you right now, if they come out with another sequel, I can't be held responsible for my actions. Okay, pick a category. Question 13. The category is Blue Poo 2. 6,000 bucks is riding on this one. Hope you're ready, because here's one coming at you. If Papa Smurf were really a human being instead of a tiny blue cartoon character, which of the following might explain his skin color? Phalanitis, cyanosis, halitosis, or xanthosis? Cyanosis. The little blue bugger probably has bad circulation. Yeah, that's cyanosis, and it can make its victims look blue. Of course, so does strangulation. How about it? Hit me with a category. Uh-oh, Test Nut Slick Crime Store. Once again, it's time for a Snicker Clish Restroom. The category for this gibberish question, sometimes when we touch. We're in round two, so this gibberish question is going to start off at $10,000. Now, you're going to have about 30 seconds to solve this puzzle, but I'm going to be taking a little bit of money away every second and a half. Are you ready? What colloquialism does this rhyme with? I wouldn't clutch it. If the hen, toot coal. Don't let the punctuation throw you off. Let's see what you got. Start typing and hit return when you're done. Ew, what is it? I don't know, but Bye wouldn't clutch him if the hen toot call. All right, come on, hit me. We need a category. It's question 15. This one's going to be, but have you seen his Netherlands? It's going to be worth $4,000. Okay, hang tight. Put your fingers on your buzzers. Here's the question. What is Mexico's official name when translated from Spanish? Mexico and Tobago, Mexico Land, United Soviet Socialist Republic of Mexico, or United Mexican States? United Mexican States. Everyone calls it Mexico, but if it had a driver's license, it would say United Mexican States and have a really bad photo like everybody else. How about it? Hit me with the category. Here's the category. Hey, that's illegal in these parts. I'm paying out $2,000 if you get this one right. Okay, let's get this ball rolling. All right, tell me, where would you go to blow a few drachmas? A flop house in Reno, a bus station in New York, a gift shop in Athens, or a glass blower shop? If you were buying gifts in Athens, you'd have to pay in Greek drachmas. Oppa! Okay, pick a category. The category behind this question is nice tomatoes. You get this one right, you got 2,000 bucks coming at you. Okay, we're coming at you. Heads up. When you pick out a plump red beefsteak tomato and read that it was grown hydroponically, you can feel confident that it was grown without soil, by hippies, without fertilizer, or without chemicals. <laughs> that answer smells like fertilizer. In case you're curious about the correct answer, they're grown without soil. That's right, they're grown in water. Did we all learn something today? How about it? Hit me with a category. Song to city. The category, what did you call me? This question's gonna be worth $2,001 bills. Okay, let's get to the bottom of this once and for all. How do you literally translate Farvig Nugent? The people's car, the Fuhrer has landed, the pleasure of driving or made with Nugent. The pleasure of driving. When all this time, I thought it meant, please tailgate me, for I have introduced an annoying word into everyday English. 
All right, come on, hit me. We need a category. Next up, Good Nutrition and the Little Rascals. And this one's going to be worth $2,000. Okay, get your fingers ready. Let's get busy. Which of these is not both a grain and a member of our gang? Buckwheat, barley, farina, or alfalfa? Barley. It's not a member, but it is a grain that's often eaten. Now, Darla, on the other hand, I think you get the picture. How about it? Hit me with a category. Ooh, uh, question number 20. All right, let's see what we're doing here. Someone got a record contract for that? You get this one right, you got 2,000 bucks coming at you. Get your eyes focused on the screen. Here we go. If your name were Rich, which word would not be a part of your Banana Fana name game song? Rich, Fitch, Kitch, or Mitch? Nope, there ain't no kitch. Rich, rich, bo bitch, banana, banana, bo bitch, me, my mom, bitch, rich. Okay, pick a category. Jack attack time. So oh, you already know what you're doing. We'll make sure your match fits this clue. I seem to be missing something. Hope you're not missing your memory, because you'll need it for this. about it. Of course, it's not like you had any competition to make it a real challenge or anything, but, you know, that's not the point. The point is, you don't know Jack. Due to the way our Christmas special, Don't Diss Me Like That, will be aired next week at a trailer. Excellent show, show, everybody. Hey, um, Cookie, uh, what are we going to do with Amber these Amber contestants? Amber All right, right if you want to play again, you just got to let me know whenever you're ready, okay? It's hard as a single mother to find a job that fits in with motherhood. The folks at Mamre Lane Dairies let me do that. Mamre Lane Dairy Farms, makers of Mama's Pride human breast milk. I like working at Mama's Pride because I feel like I'm really doing some good for people. Every customer's like one of my children. Providing good nutrition and good jobs for people like Bessie. And that makes good sense. It's wholesome, it's natural, and I don't have to worry about giving it to my kids because I know where it came from, out of me. Mama's Pride Fresh Breast Milk. Baby yourself with Mama's Pride. Mira, Pilar, it's Chucky, la ardilla loca. Vámonos a cogerle para comer su cabeza deliciosa. Wow, sus niños están locos. Déjame, no mordisca mi cabeza. Por favor, Chucky, tenemos muchísimo hambre. Aquí, comen mi cereal, fruity choco corn puffies. Hace su leche rosado y tarty. Mmm, qué sabroso. Chucky, tú estás nuestro amigo más mejor y delicioso. Te amamos, Chucky. Sí, adiós, pendejo. Hi, I'm Donnie Dunghill, and this is my son, Donnie. Hey, how you doing? Yeah, anyways, we're the owners of the Dunghill Burial Emporium, and sons. Unfortunately, we have lost our lease, and now we must have special clearance sale, because they are kicking our ass out. Oh, well, easy come, easy go. But here's the good news. Go ahead, Donnie. Why don't you tell them our coffins have been chosen by more families than the other guys? Tell them that the name Dunghill has been synonymous with quality since 1940 and two. You said it, Bob. Yeah, and one other thing. 
With our clearance sale, everything must go. That means we're selling our finest mahogany caskets and concrete burial receptacles right, for Bob. dirt cheap. Isn't that right, Donnie? So anyways, if you need to bury a loved one, please do it before the end of the month with Dunghill Burial Emporium and Sons. We bury the competition. Yeah, you got it right, Donnie. Hi, kids. <laughs> I'm Oinky, the Bobby Piggy. And I want you to try my brand spanking new breakfast cereal, Oinky's Barbecued Puffed Pork Cracklins. <laughs> Honey baked flakes with chunks of spit roasted pork. They were puffed up to look like tiny little babies. <laughs> like me. I'm Oinky. <laughs> hey, Oinky. Um, I'd love to try your cereal, but my religion forbids you. Um, what should I do? <laughs> I'm the other white meat. <laughs> and I've been sanitized bathed and blessed by every major religion in the world. <laughs> Whoa! Go ahead, take a bite! Mm. Oinky, you're porktastic. I could pig out on you all day. <laughs> Good one, Ruth. <laughs> I love you, Oinky. 